So for today's topic, guys, I'm gonna be talking about kids cuts. I've spoken about kids cuts, obviously, when I cut my son, which actually I need to cut his hair again soon. Now guys, I hope you understand this is definitely not a tutorial video, which is discussing this, all right? And I'm gonna show you some moments, but don't expect your boy to show you a tutorial. It's not going that route. That, that, that's not the direction we're going with today, guys. But besides that, guys, we need to talk about this. What it feels like when you cut kids in the shop. And I came across another set of old files. I wanted to uh, just discuss and show different experiences that I had cutting different kids. Now, cutting kids is not like cutting adults. You need a few different things at hand to make sure you are ready for this. You're gonna need a phone, some candy, and an extra pair of hands. And patience. You need a lot of patience when you do this. Barbers, you need to have a lot of patience because you do this for a living. And parents, you live with your kids. You should have a lot more patience than we do with them. So I'm just saying, work with us, okay? Now guys, let's talk a little bit, okay? Come on, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, okay? Bring it in, let's talk. When it comes to cutting kids, um, it is intense in most cases. Less intense if, and only if, the parent starts bringing the kid to the shop at least by the age of one. So in Harrison's case, he came the day he turned one. Shout out to my boy Harvey. Yo, it worked out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some context on, on Harrison. So Harrison, what Harvey did with him, besides spend a lot of time with him, shout outs to all the fathers that spend as much time as they can with their kids. Come on, fellas. Round of applause for all the fathers that take care of the kids, baby. And let's keep some silence for the scumbags. All right, so pay close attention, guys. What Harvey did to make sure that Harrison was gonna be prepared for his first haircut was use a pair of clippers and had the sound near him so he could recognize this is familiar. I'm okay. I'm gonna survive this. That's what Harvey did for Harrison, and it worked. <laughs> Harrison, just look down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Harrison, Harrison. He is out of it today. Harrison, you keep moving like this. We're going to do ball head just like your dad. Every time I, I have to edge him up, that's a real moment for me. Like, that's when everything else doesn't matter. It's me and you, Harrison. I got to get you right. And if you move too much for this edge up, it's over. It's over for you. For a few weeks, Harrison, you're gonna have a messed up hairline. Or we can go bald. I keep on telling you, if you move too much, Harrison, you're gonna have a baldy. But, you know, we've never taken it that far. And that's what I like to tell all my client kids. Hey. If you move too much, you will have a bald head. I hope you know this. If you want to do this right, don't move. And if you move, I'm gonna have you looking like your daddy. Straight bald head, baldy special. So what you wanna do, we're gonna do this. Don't move, okay? Don't move. This, this is a real moment, all right? Don't move. All right. Oh, that's how it goes. When it comes to the edge up, it's a real moment for most barbers because we know all it takes is a, is a, is a millisecond for them to just move the wrong way and it's over. It's over. It's over for them. They're not going to look right. It's a little nerve wracking, especially if they're moving around and you got to do your best. You got to do your best. But if you know that the parent of that kid is expecting the crispiest hairline and their kid moves, look, man. 
you need ultra focus and you might need that parent so in this case for harrison i needed harvey i usually always need harvey i maybe have had a handful of occasions where i was able to line harrison up but uh the majority has been with harvey harvey for sure has to hold it down he has to put the grip on him because if not the chances of him having a very you know interesting hairline like like i don't know like an m or you or any type of hairline that's messed up, he, he might end up with that. And I don't want to do that to you, Harrison. So, you know, me and your dad, we got to work together. So that's, so clients, clients, parents, work with us. Help us. We need you. We need you. You got to hold it down. Because if you don't hold it down, AKA hold your kid down. It's just going to get real. It's going to get ugly. The cell phone's not always enough. It's not. We need your help. So help us. Help us. I also want to add this about Harvey. Harvey is absolutely the father that's going to get in front of their kid and check that lineup. He is going to make sure that it's as crispy as possible. And guess what? It's never, ever good enough for Harvey. But, and I think I have the footage. He sent me a picture of Harrison. Let's just say he has a little bit more respect for his barber now. That's one angle of the haircut. All right, all right, all right. How's it looking, guys? Raid Harvey. Raid him. Raid him, okay? That's another angle right there. Ooh, ooh, Harvey, what is that? Huh? Huh, Harvey? That was, I ain't gonna lie, that came out nice. It's not so easy, is it, Harvey? Huh? To all my parents that say that they could do what their barber does, nine times out of 10, you can't do what we do. If you haven't cut hair back to 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 back, you can't be as good as us how how sway how yo much respect to harvey for at least giving it a try now for these next two clients i'm about to show you they're both siblings and they both get a haircut with their mom right here mama holds it down she is making sure that she's keeping her sons as comfortable and calm as possible yo round of applause for all the mothers that work with their barbers Run applause, run applause, everybody run applause. Because without y'all, things would get real for us. There we go. Oh, another thing, guys. When you have a parent, a mom or dad sit down with their kid to hold them down, make sure you put a cape on them too, all right? Don't forget. Check this out. So mama right here is helping me. She's helping me. She's holding the phone. She's making sure that the angles are there for me. If I have to have him turn his head, she's gonna get that cell phone and move it so his head can move and I can work. All right, that's how it works, baby. That's how it works. All right, let's put on, let's switch them now. Uh, legs pointing out this way and back towards that.
Look at that. Who's that right there? Who's that guy? He looks good. He looks good. See? Soon enough, we're going to start sitting alone, right? Yes. That's yes. right. You promise? Pinky you promise. That's not a pinky. Bring it in. There you go. You know you can't break a pinky promise, right? So overall, Big Brother did a great job. He stayed calm. Every time mom needed to move him or ask him to put his head down, he did. He let me edge him up. He let me chop from the top with the shears. He let me just do the best that I could do for him. Now I've been cutting Big Brother a little bit longer than Little Brother. Little Brother is a whole nother story. So the thing about Little Brother is Little Brother waited about mm, maybe two years before he got his first haircut. And in my opinion, I believe that's why, you know, I went through it. It wasn't just me though. Mama went through it too. Mama and I had to work together, okay? And, and this is where it gets real. This is where you gotta be tuned in as the parent and as the barber. Roll the clip. It's okay. It's okay. All right now. All right now. All righty then. Mama is not playing from the get. She's making sure he is going to be held down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the thing about holding your kid down. Even though you're holding your kid down, that doesn't mean he's not gonna fight back. He's definitely gonna fight back. And guess what happens when a kid fights back? He sweats. What happens when he sweats? He's slippery. What happens when he's slippery? It's hard to get to him. It's, it's like trying to, to hit a moving target. It's difficult. Look, 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 look. No, okay. The more you try to move away, the more I squeeze. Are we going as slow as? You can try. At this point, I know he's not really gonna let you do much. We could do a one and a half all the way over. Go time, baby, go time. Here we go, here we go. It's okay, it's okay. You're doing great. It's okay. See? It's like a little massage for your head. Yeah. Look at that. Doesn't that feel so good? It's all mental. Yes, 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 yes. You're doing great. You're doing great. Hang in there. You're not even trying to fight it that much, so just stop. There you go. Let it out. <laughs> You're gonna look back at these moments and just laugh. Yeah. You want me to get him a lollipop? Yeah. Let's get him a lollipop. Now see here guys, this is where bribing comes in as a barber and a parent. You know, the kid starts crying and losing their mind. You have to think of, how can I calm this little guy down? Okay, hmm, what do we have near us? Lollipops. But if I give him the lollipop, it might get messy. Hair is definitely gonna get on that lollipop. That lollipop might land on the cape. Lollipop? There's a lot of things that can happen from that lollipop. So we try to hold it off till the end. Like, hey, if you stay still, you are going to get some lollipops. Yes. Which one? But you can't move though. You can't move. So stay still, okay? Stay, stay still. You know what? Maybe we'll hold off on the lollipop. 
No, 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 no. You're, you're moving. You're mo you don't want that lollipop. No, no. You don't want that lollipop. You still, please don't move. Please, please. I just wanna, I wanna make you look good. Help me help you. Help me help you, please, little man. Please, please. But eventually, desperation kicks in and you're gonna get those damn lollipops. Okay. This one? You're gonna get them. Oh, yes you are. Because I need to finish what I started. And from there, we continue on with this ongoing battle. Oh, and by the way, there's only so much you can do when your client moves that much. At some point, it's almost dangerous. It No, not almost, it is dangerous. If you are swinging your arms around, I don't wanna have these sharp objects around you. I don't wanna cut you. I do want you to look good. So we're gonna work together. Parents, hold their arms down, hold their legs down, clamp them up. Uh. All right. I'm making face you. Like that, yeah. All right. Put your hand up here. All right, don't kick me in the nuts now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, not kick me. <laughs> I think so. Yeah? Okay, then stop. There's nothing wrong with you. It's so adorable, bro. <laughs> all I need to do is get your little rat tail, all right? And that's it. And that's it. Just don't kick me in the neck. Oh, I see that leg. Oh, man, he is not bad. We're gonna work together on this. Boy, let me tell you, towards the end of all this, I feel like he won this battle. He ended up without even having the cape on. The next rip came off, and Mama was like, look, just, just, let's just finish this. Let's just do the, do the best you can, but he's had enough. I gave him the best I could, boss. I gave him the best I could. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Once it gets to a point where you're already super behind, the kid is just on a whole nother level of losing his mind, we're done here, you know? Let's just make sure the sides are nice and even, the edge up is as, you know, clean as it could possibly be. I mean, there's only so much you can do. If they're losing their minds, you got to get to the point where you, you just say, I'm done, I'm done. Shout out to the OG JP. He always taught me, man. You just gotta learn when it's time to let him go. And uh, that's how it gets. Whether it be an adult or a kid, you just need to get to the point where you realize, I can't just continue on this taper. It's taking me more than it should. I gotta let, I gotta let it go. I gotta move on. So ask yourself, how far are you willing to take a haircut until you just realize you gotta let him go? You know what, guys? I'm glad we had this conversation. I feel like, I feel like this is definitely something that's not spoken enough on YouTube as far as how barbers deal with situations like this and what can we do to get better at it, to have it to where kids are more comfortable getting a haircut. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, it's not just up to the barbers to make sure that the child is going to be well behaved on the chair. We need you parents, all you parents, all of you, to work with us, okay? I'm not perfect. I've only given my son two haircuts. I should have given him his third haircut by now. Shout out to Renzo, we're gonna do this soon, son. We're gonna do it. You and me, son, you and me. We're gonna do this, okay? So parents, make sure if you have a newborn, maybe by like six months, start having a clipper near them so they can familiarize themselves with the sound and by the time you bring them to the barber shop the chances of them keeping their cool are higher than most bueno mi gente ya suficiente i've had enough this was a very intense video i felt it the intensity was here felt here 
all right? You know where else is felt on that like button. Rakata that like button for me one more time. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Rakata that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the subscription. Make sure you hit that, uh, that bell. Make sure you hit the campana. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And next time, I'm gonna say it again. I've had enough. Guys, I'm out. Peace.